Hello gorgeous, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna check out the January BoxyCharm. If you are not familiar with BoxyCharm, it is a subscription box that comes once a month. You get five full-sized items of either makeup or skincare. You get to choose one of the items that you get and it is $27.99 and you are guaranteed a value of, I believe it's 150 or more. So I enjoy this subscription box most months. I am super pleased with it. And this month, let's see what we got. This is the theme BoxyCharm Refresh. On the back, it lists everything that I got. I did cheat a little bit and peek inside to see what makeup items I got so that I could try them on with you so that you can see how they apply my first impression first thing that i got is from pharmacy and this is the pharmacy filling good hyaluronic acid plumping serum i believe this is the one that i chose and it says here this is a skin plumping micro filling serum that hydrates and smooths the look of fine lines powerful formula features advanced multi molecular hyaluronic acid designed to penetrate the skin more effectively along with amino acids and vegan collagen peptides to deliver visibly plump healthy looking skin retails for forty four dollars i've had a good experience with pharmacy products and i'm always looking for a great skin serum for before my moisturizer so feeling good this is what it looks like beautiful frosted glass packaging nice pump let's put some on my hand see what the consistency looks like it looks like lotion i'm gonna rub it in it's got a it's got a pleasant scent but it feels very nice on the hand. I will absolutely use this. Very thrilled to have it. The next product that I got is Earth Harbor Naturals Nymph Nectar Super Fruit Radiance Balm. It says here, as sea fruits and tropical super berries playfully melt across your face with this balm, they insert a lively abundance of vitamins C, A, E, and K omegas, amino acids, and numerous other bioactives necessary for achieving your best, bounciest dewiest skin yet. So what does that tell me about this product? That this one's going in a giveaway. <laughs> I struggle with oily skin, so I'm not gonna use this, but I will set it aside for my next giveaway. The next three items that I have here are makeup items, so yes please, let's get into it. The first one is the Aesthetica. Let me go ahead and open this up for you. Here's the box. This is the Aesthetica Cream Contour Kit. This kit contains six blendable silky creams that are designed to accentuate, define, and highlight your face. Three contour shades for sculpting and three highlight creams to enhance your favorite features. This kit includes removable and refillable pans packaged in a travel-friendly mirrored palette, specially formulated for fair to dark skin tones. This Aesthetica Cream Contour Kit retails for $40. So let's go ahead and open it up. I do appreciate how well they packaged it in the bubble wrap. It does come with some paperwork. If you wanted some more instructions on contouring your skin, talks about nose contour, talks about all kinds of great instructions, which is nice if you are a beginner getting this box so that you can know what to do with it. Let's see, and in here, we've got another little picture showing, and this, is what the palette looks like. I like it. Let's I'll put my finger in it and it looks hmm, creamy. We are gonna play. I hope this works out over powders because I went ahead and powdered my face. I have foundation on, I have concealer, I have eye primer. The next item, Pinky Rose Cosmetics Multi-Use Makeup Base Sticks, cream base multi-use makeup stick that can be used on the eyelids and as an eyeshadow or primer to be used as eyeshadow. Can also be used on the bottom lash line, waterline, brow bone, or lips. Perfect duo to be used together or separately. I have seen this in previous boxes and I'm happy that I got it because I do enjoy cream eyeshadow sticks. I enjoy them a lot. I have some from Elf, from Nabla, from 
looks like I got two different shades here, like a copper and a cream. The coppery one is called Jazz, I believe. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this. Here is Jazz, and then this one is Hip Hop. It looks to be a matte cream. Interesting. I will definitely be using these in a look today. So let's set these aside. And then the last product I got is this lip liner, this very large lip liner from Dragon Beauty. Lip Job Liner and Sharpener. It says contour, reshape, and create your ultimate lip fantasy with this XX Extra Long Lip Pencil, ultra moisturizing and hydrating. This formula serves fuller lips, needle free. Keep your lip job liners on point with the single blade Dragon Beauty logo sharpener valued at $18. Let's open this up. I love a good lip liner. The sharpener doesn't want to come out. <laughs> it's actually a nice little sharpener. It comes with a sharpener in there that is the, the closed kind, which I appreciate so all your little shavings don't go all over the place. I like that. And then this is what the pencil looks like. It is large and in charge. It looks to be a nice brown color. Does it have a shade name on here? It says it is, looks like 20cc. I'm gonna put it over here. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. It's a nice brown nude. So for sure, I am excited. Let's put some of these makeup products on my face and then we'll get the total retail of the box and my final thoughts. So I'm gonna start with this Aesthetica Cream Contour Palette and let me go ahead and swatch the shades for you. Here are the three contour shades from deepest to lightest. And then above that are the three highlight shades. Feels ultra creamy. And seems to really set. I'm trying to wipe that off and it doesn't want to come off. So that tells me good things. I'm going to go in with my favorite BH brush for my contour. And I think I'm going to go in, I'm going to go in with this lightest contour shade and see what that looks like. And we can always go into the deeper one. My brush fits in there nicely. Let's see just how pigmented this is. Not seeing a whole lot, so that tells me that would be really good for the skin tones lighter than mine. I'm going to go into this middle shade here. And just put that right on top. Yeah, there we go. So far, so good. I like the way it applied. Let's just soften those edges with a clean foundation brush. Very nice. Thumbs up. I'm not sure what to do with these shades. Let's look at the picture here. I'm going to use my little e.l.f. concealer brush and I'm going to go into gonna go into this shade right here and just see what that looks like. A little on the chin, a little on the nose, a little here. Well, I need to work on the highlight part a little bit more but I do feel like my face looks brighter and nice. Looks very nice so so far so good liking that. Let's go into these Pinky Rose eyeshadow sticks. So I'm going to try out the Jazz one, which is the coppery shade. And my eyes are primed, so this is the beauty of these eyeshadow sticks, is that you can just go in. I'm not sure how fast it sets, so I'm gonna go in with the Profusion blending brush and just that's clean and just blend up a little bit to soften those edges. It 
take that a little bit higher. It looks pretty. And put some underneath. I do have the little uh, waterline black in there that I put on before filming. I like the consistency. I'm going to take a smaller brush and just blend that out underneath. It's not tugging on the eyes, which I appreciate. It's a nice creamy consistency. I'll have to keep you posted if it likes to crease, but I think that looks really nice. What I'm going to do with the cream is probably try it as a base. Try it as a base shadow and then throw uh, another color on top, whether it be powder or a stick. But so far, fabulous. Let's take this lip plumper off and let's jump in with this Dragon Beauty liner. Well, no issues whatsoever filling in my lips. Very nice. This is a nice liner. I do like it. A lot it feels creamy blendable the shade is right up my alley it's a very nice neutral medium to light shade brown let me finish my makeup I'll come back and we will talk about the value of the box and my final thoughts okay, I am back I threw some liner some mascara blush and lipstick on and I have to say I'm very happy with this box as a recap, the Pharmacy Plumping Serum, absolutely. I don't know specifically how this product works, but I do enjoy the brand Pharmacy, so this is a win. The Earth Harbor, I think it is a, I'm sure it is a great product, just not for me, and that's okay. That's, I like to have things to, to give to you. And the Pinky Rose shadow sticks i enjoy them i think it looks very nice i did put a little bit of the cream in my inner corner i'm not sure i like it like that but i will probably use it as an eyeshadow base i think this is a great product the cream contour i think it looks great i think it looks really nice i when i did the swatch how it's hanging on to my arm i think the longevity is going to be nice it is a beautiful palette. I love how it comes with instructions for you if you're looking to shape the face, add a little more structure to the face. I think it is a nice product. And then the liner, I love. I think it's very nice. It's perfect shade for me. And when I add up all the products in the box, retail value comes to $160. So bottom line, is it worth my $27.99 that I paid? Absolutely. Skincare, contour, cream stick, lip liner. This is one of the better boxes that I've gotten in a while. I am super happy. If you are interested in more information about BoxyCharm, I always have it linked in the description box, but I will have more information linked under there. And if I didn't mention it, one of my favorite things about BoxyCharm is their add-on option, which is, I'll post the name. They did recently change the name, but in a nutshell, it's an opportunity once a month. You get to go in, choose your product for the next month, and then just go shopping. Brands that you haven't heard of, brands that you absolutely have heard of, I've gotten some of my favorite items in my makeup collection from that option in BoxyCharm. I got like the Fenty powder for, I mean, there are things in there for 70, 80% off. I have a lot of fun. I get a lot of skincare in there. Once a month, you can go in and shop and get some great deals. I've gotten a lot of my makeup brushes in there. I do recommend checking out BoxyCharm. There are different size boxes that you can get. 
I get the least expensive one. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you've not subscribed, please consider subscribing before you leave. I do lots of fun things with makeup, tutorials, reviews, just having some fun. So I would love to have you join me. Leave me a comment, let me know you were here. If you get BoxyCharm, let me know what different items you got and what you thought of them. If you recommend a different subscription box, please let me know. I'll see you in my next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.